What's up everybody, Gary Simon here. So today we're gonna be covering a tool that I've covered in the past and a couple of other videos, but I think it's such a great tool uh, for helping you get out of sort of like the UI designer's block. Uh, and it's a random layout generator created by myself and my friend, Jip. Um, the link to this tool is here in the YouTube description. So if you expand that and you click on it, uh, you'll get access to this tool. Of course, it's 100% free. And what it essentially is, is it allows you to uh, come around here and maybe just screenshot a specific section. I have a screenshot tool that I use personally. I can just kind of grab any area and hit copy, and then I can just paste it into Figma. And what it will force you to do is if you just go to some random section, I, it will help you structure a layout because a layout is essentially just a bunch of rectangles next to each other. I mean, really that's what it is. Um, and it can really force you to think outside of the box to create unique layouts. So that's the name of the game and that's what I'm gonna do here in this video. Um, so coming up maybe around seven or so, you can really use however many columns that you want. I, you could create some, you know, really interesting layouts as you can see here. So find, um, you know, a particular section that you like or you would want to experiment with and just hit, uh, just screenshot it or use any type of screenshot tool um, and just copy it and then go ahead and paste it into a new Figma document. Now, chances are, if you're watching this video, you probably want to be a better designer. And if that's the case, how much do you really want it? Because at designcourse.com, I've created a UI UX course that will help you go from designing layouts that I might rate a four or five up to eight and beyond. But more important than that, as a better designer, this means that you can land higher paying clients and jobs. This course includes over 16 hours of video, 40 interactive UI design tests, and even mentorship, where I personally take a look at your work that you submit, I review it, and many times I also revise it, providing you with great feedback to help you become a better designer. Now, for this video, I want you to use the coupon code UI2022, and that will give you 22% off at checkout. Okay, so here I am in Figma, and I'm just gonna hit Control V to paste the particular section um, that I wanna give a shot. Obviously, there's a lot happening here. Um, looks crazy and mindless at the moment. Um, we'll also get the uh, frame tool, and we'll just use a desktop resolution. And we'll just go ahead and drag that in. You may have to scale yours back down and all that good stuff. Um, and then what I also want to do, um, I want to keep a copy of just the original over here. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to double click into the image and then I'm going to change this to exclusion. That way we kind of get a, a light mode version. That's kind of what I want to design for. Um, and we can still see the little grid patterns here. Okay. so. First thing you have to ask yourself, you know, what is this for? You know, we have to understand the content and what we're designing for. Um, I am going to paste in a fake sort of uh, nav bar, just a logo and just a uh, navigation over here. I already have that designed, so I'm just gonna paste this right in and we'll probably just keep it right here. And if we wanna be real true to our layout, we will add a layout grid. Um, just so we can see, I'm just gonna use one here for the columns. And margin will do something like, uh, let's try 150. Okay, let's bump that in just a tad bit, maybe to like uh, 180. All right, so that way we can make sure we have equal white space on the right and left. All right, so by the way, you may have to restructure your, uh, or reposition your your image, all right, your grid image, there we go. So now we can go ahead and just hide this. All right, and of course, we're gonna come back to this image, of course, and um, we'll, we'll end up hiding this just so we can get a good idea of what the layout itself looks like. The layout grid here is just a template. It's not something that you're meant to see, it's something to help you create the layout. All right, so what we'll do now is I, we're just gonna choose some areas uh, to, to um, just create some blocks of content. So some of it will be type-based. Um, I'm thinking this big one right here will have a type element inside of it, you know, like, a, like a, a title. You know, this is gonna be perhaps for like a fictional, like a blog post of some sort, um, or like a blog homepage. Um, so it'll have an article, a subhead, and then a paragraph, and maybe a call to action. Um, and then we'll have some uh, photographs perhaps. 
So let's say, for instance, just randomly, um, we'll put a photograph in this little square right here. All right, so what we'll do is just take the rectangle tool and just draw out just right on top of it. Uh, and then we could also take our image and we will hide that visibility. And then with it selected, we're gonna right click, go to plugins and choose unsplash. If you don't have that, just click on find more plugins, type in unsplash and then install it and then come back. So unsplash is just a free uh, photograph resource. So um, I could type in something like uh, freedom. All right, uh, maybe we'll get this guy on top of a mountain. <laughs> Now, a lot of times I wanna have more control over exactly what it looks like. Um, maybe we'll uh, come over here and change this from fill to crop. And then that way we can make it a little bit larger and maybe offset them, get that golden ratio situation going. All right, so that's the first thing. Uh, we'll bring this back now. Okay, um, the next thing we'll do is let's add, um, let's add some type. So, I'm gonna copy and paste a headline that I've already created. And so we're gonna put this like right here. Um, and perhaps it'll go just like in this square right here. All right, so you can start to see that our layout's gonna start taking shape just a little bit. All right, now next up, let's create a subheading. All right, so we'll paste that in. And by the way, the font I'm using is Garamond. All right, so in, in this context, I've decided to overlap, well, break outside of these little boxes uh, and overlap it on top of a low contrast uh, element here. Now, when I say low contrast, I mean in comparison to the background in which it's sitting. All right, so uh, doing this can help, you know, just break outside of the box, so, so to speak, when it comes to your layout. You wouldn't want this to be a dark image, though, because this, of course, this type wouldn't be able to, you know, be seen essentially. Um, so we're making our progress here. Let's continue on. Um, let's do a paragraph underneath this area. So I'm gonna paste that in. This time I'm using a, uh, a sans serif font of Poppins. All right. Now, mind you, notice how we kind of, uh, we're outside of this box right here. Uh, that's completely okay. I mean, you can combine these however you wish. Uh, it's just really to serve you as a, a basic template. All right, uh, next up, let's see here. Um, let's go ahead and uh, add a call to action underneath. So I'm going to copy that, paste that, there we go. Again, this is just pop-ins and it's made bold with a little arrow tool. Shift L will get you that arrow tool, by the way. You can change the size and all that good stuff. All right, so let's delete that. Okay, now let's go ahead and toggle this off just to see what the layout at this point is looking like. All right, so it's we can see clearly we're working within two columns, but we can uh, we can add more. So to do that, we can work with these squares over here, and perhaps you can just this is going to be sort of like a photo mosaic sort of thing. Um, so for instance, I like this square right here. We can use an image, perhaps something like this. Now. Um, one thing to note is I have, if we make this the exact size of that square, which we should, we'll see that the this right here, this is a common problem people encounter, is if I hit sh uh, Shift R to get my rulers out, we put a column here. So the end of the layout, as far as the top, you know, working from the top of the bottom, it, it, it's established right here at the end of the navigation. But if we pull this over, we'll see we're breaking outside of that container. Now, sometimes it's acceptable, but in this context, it's not. Because uh, it's, it's a small image, it's not going all the way out. If you're gonna break outside of the container, you can go all the way out, uh, but we're really not here. So we wanna avoid this situation. So what we'll do is push this out. And then that means if we want everything truly centered, uh, we would go back here, we would bring back our uh, grid and then make an adjustment uh, to the size of the grid, the width uh, for the margin. So like maybe 150 now, or even one, let's try 130. There we go, 130. All right, so then we would wanna take all this content and move it out as well to the left or so. Okay, 
now we're evened up. All right, so shift R to get rid of the rulers and then we could toggle this off. Okay, let's continue on. Um, I decided to uh, also utilize, uh, if we bring this back, uh, this whole column or this section right here. Um, we're probably gonna make adjustments here to the alignment of things and the position, but I'm gonna paste in an element right here. Now, as you can see, we are way too far away. All right, so I'm gonna give ourselves some room. So we're gonna pull this down and I'm also gonna pull things out here and get things centered up a little bit more. So what I'll do is take everything here All right, and we're gonna take this, these blocks. Now at this point, uh, the, the utility of this particular, uh, you know, template of sorts is kind of, you know, we've already created the, the, the basic structure of the layout and we can keep, we could, we could really just not even bring it back and we can just use the existing columns and rows that we've created already to continue on building out the layout, really. Um, so with that said, I'm gonna take, let's take everything and I'm gonna move this down a bit. All right, like right around there. And then we're gonna also utilize another image. I'm gonna put it like right here kind of hard to see with this going on. So let's, now of course, when it comes to the white space between these sections, you wanna make sure they're equal. And what I mean by that, like equal right here, equal right here, et cetera, et cetera. All right. Now I'm gonna take all this stuff and move it up. And we'll probably put it like right around here or so. All right, and then what I'm gonna do is just put uh, this little heading up here. So it's gonna say like today's top story, We're slightly out here, we need to be right there, there we go. All right, and we can also, let's see here, maybe we'll push this all the way here, bring this stuff down. All right, and I actually may increase the size of this. Now, by the way, when you ever I uh, decide to um, scale a photograph and this happens, you gotta change it back to fill, and then you can make your adjustments as such. Maybe I'll go a little bit lower. I kind of like the uh, staggered approach here. And then if you want, you can go back to crop, redo that process, maybe put that right here. All right, there we go. All right, so here's, you know, I uh, we're not done yet. Uh, I think I want to add a couple of other things. Um, so what I could do is uh, I might want to do another paragraph just to kick this a little bit lower. So we'll take this paragraph here and um, maybe we'll, we'll get rid of a couple sentences. All right, something like right there for now. And then um, I also want to utilize a little bit more blocks, maybe put this in its own little low contrast block. Um, I also think I want to change the background color slightly. I really like this for like, I don't know, I've been liking this color scheme lately. We just kind of add a little bit of yellowish, orangeish to the background. And I'm also going to take the rectangle tool. Now, of course, we want the baseline of this rectangle to be, it's going to be like a kind of like an abstract button container. We'll be at our baseline here, just established by this photograph. Now we'll take the color here and then in the background, just by hitting the eye for the eyedrop tool, and then we'll just make it a little bit darker. 
and then we'll put it underneath right there. We can move this in perhaps. Oops, let's move this. And we'll get this centered up in this container. And you could always do cool stuff. I, uh, For instance, we could do something unique because it's a very low contrast container. We could break outside of the box and we can duplicate it. Maybe put one right there and there. And we could even do something a little bit more potentially interesting. Um, let's 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 experiment. A lot of times when I create layouts, I kind of I'll, I'll replicate where I'm at, I uh, just so I can keep a, a copy of the original and then compare them in terms of what I think they look like. So we could take these and push them in maybe to right here where the read more begins. So now we've created some white space on the left portion. And of course, I wanna go ahead and separate those a little bit more. All right, and then what we could do is, um, maybe we'll take this element. We're gonna put it maybe right here. Drag it up, push this out. Maybe to where this uh, column is. So if I hit Shift R, we could put one right here. Looks like I got pretty much on point because that my guide wasn't showing up. Um, and then what we want to do is probably take in this, and then maybe move this in as well. Which means we need to move this in equally uh, and readjust our our elements. Um, of course, that means we kind of screw this part up, but we can move this in which it's still fine, the layout still works well. Um, maybe we could bring this down a little bit more to like right there. We could copy this and kind of create a little border to the left of the main paragraph type. I think I probably want more white space, maybe, let me see. So as you can see, I'm just experimenting. Um, Again, I may want, I want to take all this stuff and move it a little bit closer. There we go. Just making small adjustments here. And where we put this at, I mean, that's actually kind of like that. It makes the, the, the content cleaner and easier to read, but it still gives us an interesting little, just low contrast element. Awesome. So this is uh, looking pretty cool. I mean, it's debatable which one you know you would per personally prefer. You'd have to run this against users and 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 see what they ultimately prefer. But I, I this just to show you a little bit more. We could continue on with this layout. It's easily you know based on all the columns we have. The three we have a column here, a column here, and a column here. Um, we we can easily just continue on uh, with this layout. So. I've done exactly that. So I, we could copy this, and this could probably start right here. All right. Maybe we could push this out then, because you want to have your columns lining up as much as possible with the, with your various elements. Um, and then we could also put in like another paragraph, align it there. So notice this, this low contrast element there as well. Uh, it's kind of lining with this type. And then this content, of course, is aligning with that type. And there we go. We've created uh, a really interesting, unique layout um, with the help of that layout generator. So I would say, if you really wanna force yourself to, to create unique layouts, um, use that tool just as a matter of practice and eventually you're gonna be able to really just build in this muscle memory of being able to create really cool and unique layouts. Now as always, if you haven't, make sure to check out designcourse.com, give a subscription here, give a thumbs up, a comment, and all that good stuff, and I'll see you soon. Goodbye.